So we're in the calm before the storm right now, before Winter Storm Birch hits us. Probably in about 12 or so hours, I'd say. We're supposed to get about, um, <clears throat> anywhere from like 4 to 12 inches. No one actually knows what's actually happening. Although they're trying to push this thing south, I'm going to force the storm to go north. I don't care what's going to happen. We will get a foot of snow. I have confidence. Actually, no, we're probably only going to get like 6 or 7 inches, but okay, that's cool. It's going to fall really quickly, so I'm going to be covering the storm just for you. <clears throat> Anyways, let's get into it. Here in Fallsburg, we were only supposed to get like, what, half an inch of snow last night, and seven whole inches of snow fell last night, and we're not even in the worst of it yet. We're still supposed to get three to six inches of snow today. Six inches. <clears throat> Look at this. Is this crazy or what? I thought so too. Like, look at this. Get a load of this. Six whole inches of snow. Six inches on the trash can. <clears throat> We're like not even in the worst of it yet. That's almost eight inches. This is crazy. So yeah, shoveling is out of the picture now. It's literally impossible to shovel this because look at all this. <clears throat> look at how heavy and wet this is. <clears throat> I'd be better off shoveling this with my hands. All right, so here in Fallsburg, we have like eight inches of snow. I'd assume back at home we have at least like five or so. So we're going home right now, let's go see. Well, so much for two to four inches of snow. Look at this. This is like probably 14 to 18 inches of snow. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this, bro. This is crazy. All right, let's get everything all measured and stuff. So here we have about 11 inches. To be honest, I do not remember snow ever being this deep. That's like 10 inches. Let's get up here. 
That's like 12 inches. Jeez, look at this. Dude, that's like eight inches. That's usually a place where snow doesn't stick. Right here's a safe spot. There's like 12 inches. Let's check on the chickens. Whoa, that was an avalanche. <laughs> chickens, how are you guys doing on this Tuesday? Not good. Not good at all. They eat so much for a couple inches of snow. Oh wow, there's a drift here. Let's get this all measured. It's like a foot. Look at this. Get a load of this, yo. Look at these chickens outside. Not too fond of it, that's a foot. I don't think anyone would be too fond of a snowstorm like this. It's a disaster. If this was fluffy snow, we'd probably be in for like two feet of it. But instead, this is like the wet and heavy stuff, so not really the real deal at all. Like, not even a little bit. Look at all this. This is our worst winter storm in years, I must say. Yeah, I don't think anyone's getting in here, but look at this. All right, so we're coming to you live right at the end of the winter storm. We're gonna take some measurements. As you can see, it's still snowing, but we're not gonna get a whole lot more. <clears throat> that is a foot on the spot. Let's check out the yard. That is also a foot on the spot. As you can see, tons of snow on the grass. <clears throat> also a foot. <coughs> yeah, sorry, I have a little bit of a cold right now. I don't know how well you could pick up on it, but like, my voice has been pretty bad recently. 10 inches there. <clears throat> I would assume this has less snow on it. Yeah, it's like three inches. The grill on the other hand though, that looks crazy. See it? Right here. I'd say this is like six inches right here on this side. That's like nine inches. This side probably has about the same. Yeah, it's a foot. And on this side, 10 inches. Now up on these things, we probably have a different story. Three inches on this one. This one has like eight inches on it. Go we'll measure some other things over here. As you can probably clearly see. Oh, and I just knocked that off. That is a foot right there, almost 13 inches. Right here, that is also a foot. That is exactly a foot as well, and as for this, there's definitely some drifting. It's 10 inches, that's a foot. Oh yeah, this is definitely a foot of snow, look at this. Yep, one foot of snow right here on the grass to speak of today. That's also a foot. Now, moving around over here, we definitely have a, that's 13 inches right there. Yeah, this is definitely a pretty serious winter storm. You can barely actually get up the driveway. And as for over here, there's a wood pile right here usually, but you can see it's completely snowed in. That's 10 inches right there. This is 10 inches. So I'd say we got 10 to 14 inches of snow. Being completely honest with you, this was unexpected. That's a foot. I do not think I expected a winter storm this bad. Especially because of how seriously they messed up on it yesterday. Oh no, I almost fell. That's cool. I am, I'm gonna go inside soon, man. 10 inches. This probably is less. Yeah, it's like eight inches on there. Let's go into the pool area. There's a pretty big drift that you might have saw earlier on there. It's not accurate. That's eight inches right there. That's probably inaccurate though. Yeah, I'm trying to open this. Yeah, this is not opening, but we'll try to get it open. I'll try to go around the other way then. Oh well, big deal. That's a foot. Oh, look at this chair. Look at this. 
Look at this, man. That's a foot on there. Right here, as not a drift. Now just look at this. Yeah, there's a lot of drifting over here. Like, let's get in here and measure all this. Whoa. Oh, we got it open. Let's try to not break this thing. So let's squeeze into here. And look at this. Look at all these chairs. <clears throat> That's a foot on there. And look at this, right by the poolside, a foot of snow. It's been a long time since we've seen a foot of snow here. Well over two years. The last time I remember there being a foot of snow was 2021. Back in that February storm. Yeah, that's like 18 inches right there. That's not accurate at all. That is, that's about a foot. Yeah, and that 2021 storm was pretty crazy. If you will that was that was a weird storm I don't it didn't look like it was a foot but it was definitely like 14 or 15 or so inches that is 10 inches right there and the reason it wasn't was because of how windy it was in in collaboration with how like how light the snow was it, it really made it hard to actually decipher how much the snow total actually was, but I would say it was about a foot because the grill had like a foot of snow on it. I'd say this is a good solid foot or so of snow. I do not remember ever getting a foot of snow recently. This is crazy. All right, so we're completely over with the storm at this point. It's now the afternoon hours, and as you can see, we finished off with about 14 or so inches of snow, really heavy and wet snow is not good at all this chicken flock is not coming outside as you can see i mean like look at all the snow here just blocking them from getting outside here let me show you into the poop real quick yeah none of these chickies are gonna come outside anytime soon they're all just chilling in their boxes t-rex and loudmouth are laying an egg and i guess kit kat might be as well And uh, let's try to not step in too much snow now. And now if we go over to here, let's go check it out. So follow me through this deep snow here. We have over a foot, as I said, to go check on the baby chickens. Of course, let's go check on them. Here in Connecticut, we did get more snow than they were talking about. They, at the last minute, they slammed those totals down by like 60, 75%. And then right at the very end, they decided, you know what, we're going to be nice to you. And I guess the intro did actually age fairly well. Chickens are pretty much buried. <clears throat> As you can see, the baby chickens will not be going outside anytime soon. Because look at how heavy and wet it is. It is getting a bit windy out here. Not terribly windy, though. Now, going around here is pretty... Um, now, we did actually get stuck a lot on the roads. I believe the highest we ever went when we were traveling back home from Fallsburg, which is about an hour and a half ride, keep in mind. It took like four hours to get back home because of our maximum speed being like 35 miles per hour. I'm not joking. Like, that's how horrible it was. Like, look at how deep this is. It doesn't look deep until you actually are in the snow and then you realize, yeah, this is way deeper than you might expect. Oh, I just fell. I just fell. <laughs> Shoot, bro. I almost said another word there. Well, now I've got to change my pants because I am not wearing snow pants out in this. Look at all the snow on the trees. I was worried that we weren't going to get as much snow as Fallsburg did, but I guess we got snow. Yeah. <clears throat> and we I've been dying for a winter storm like this for years on end. So, so far this winter, let's do some calculations. We've got about... A foot of snow last month during that first storm. <laughs> like two inches of snow the next storm, so 14 inches. <clears throat> and then two half inch storms, so 15 inches. Then another two inches, so then 17 inches. Then three inches, so 20 inches. 
So that brings our total this winter up to 34 inches of snow. It's our highest we've seen in many years. <clears throat> the last time I remember getting a winter like that was 2022. That year was 42.6 or something like that. 2021 was also similar except that was like 50.2. That was like our only average winter recently. 2020 was like 12 inches the whole winter. And then 2019 was pretty decent. But yeah, that was pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed, be sure to click the video on the screen. I got you covered with another snow video. Anyways, I'm out. Subscribe.